Let's also start with this, this huge thing here. He has a neck beard, gruffy neck beard, and every single. Just look at this. This those single double hair and the longer ones and. Wow, Barrett's chest is best chest. Also, check out what this says here. It says Bar Barrett Wallace. S Hang on, what Wallace slash? Oh, male. It says slash male. December fifteenth x x x x one. That's not how you spell forty one. And there's a zero. I don't know what this means. And Midgar Avalanche Land. No load. Does it say load? Hang on. Let's do this here. Ha! Bigger chest! Alright. Now lead. It says Avalanche, comma, lead. So it's the leader of Avalanche. Call XXX dash XXXX dash XXXX. I don't think this is really helpful. It's not really helpful. Oh, <laughs> Battle of the Chests, Barrett versus Reno. Oh, yes. The Milk Boy versus the Gruff, uh, gruff Alpha Male. <laughs> oh, boy. Enhance. Zoom in. Also, do you see all the stitches here and the, the weaving or however it's called? And here the pattern, the fabric, the stitches. You, you still do see it's a little bit uh, low res still. But now look, just look at this. No, it's it's better on the other side. Blah, 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 blah. Also the zipper. Here, how it's just ripped off, ripped off with ripped off without any consequence. Just look at this. So high res. And also... Arm hair. Alright, let's go back to 100. Alright. He has so, ma so much detail here. Also the lips, every little groove, all the pores, the eyes, the reflection in the eyes, the scars. We finally see the scars and how they look. I'm not sure where where did he get this 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 car? Is that cannon? Oh yeah, this <laughs> you're right, Luna. It probably took so much time to model it, or it could be they scanned in a human being and then just tweaked tweaked stuff for this or so. But I don't think they did that. Does he have eyeliner? Hang on, I need to check this. Does Barrett have eyeliner? Uh, I don't... It kinda looks like it, I don't know. Maybe it's just a culmination of all this, this small uh, eyelid hair. I don't know. But it kinda... Like really, really subtle eyeliner here. I don't know. I think it's just uh, just coincidence because I don't I don't take Barrett as a as a guy liner type. <laughs> also the ear, <laughs> even some hair over here. Man, come on! It's just it's really ten out of ten. This is this his military look here, military uh, cut, the beard, the full beard, everything. But yeah, I think we can now go back to this collage here. Now, this is the same render as before, uh, as we've seen before, and yeah, it's pretty accurate. Now, we don't see the the, the earring here uh, as well as we should. But he, is, he still has the earring here and the earring there. But this. Uh, I think this it, this is just a comical version of this one, or this is the realistic version of this one. It's pretty 
pretty much the same, I, I think. In in essence, like the soul soul of Barrett has been preserved. Although I think it's a little bit, the colors are washed out, kinda. Because this here, the, the really really bright and vibrant colors, and here in the renders, the colors are kinda strange. I don't know. Yep, chin isn't as prominent, but. I think if they made his chin much more prominent, he would probably have looked a little bit weird. Still, those big arms. We'll see that later. And this huge, huge gun, uh, uh, Gatling gun. I like this one much, much better than the old one, because the old one is just kind of a thing. Something made out of cardboard and painted on so that it looks cool. And this is a real gun here. It's part of his beard? What do you mean, part of his beard? It's still there. Oh, you mean, right, it's, it, it looks a little bit longer here. Yeah, he, he, he did trim it down a little bit, that's true, that's true. This is also true for Heidegger, as we see later. He also trimmed down the beard. So... Yep. But in essence, it's still the same. He does have a shirt now. And those weird metallic rings are replaced by many belts. Whatever they are. What I really co find cool is uh, this thing here. This cloth material to... Uh... Yeah, this, this is probably to mask, mask his uh, cut arm. Probably. And it probably also helps uh, to to keep the, the gun arm in place, probably. I think it's much more realistic than just uh, kind of plug in this thing into the arm stump and then that's it. So it did a really good job, I think. Well, the beard is shorter, but the gun is longer, so take this as you will. <laughs> yeah. Also, the jacket is pretty much the same. It lacks the, the buttons here, though. Buttons are not there anymore. He has some belt thingy here on the collar. And also those shoulder... I don't know how they call the, those. They are, they're also missing here. But the rest is pretty cool. He does don some or sport some, uh, some pockets here, as I've mentioned in previous analyses. And I think it's pretty cool, because he needs all those ammunition. So, yeah. Alright. Now let's go back again here and enable the rest. Here. Alright, now. Uh, this. And this. Let's check out the thing here. So, as you can see, the PSX version here on the left is pretty much the same as in Advent Children, like one for one. Copied. Perfectly. Maybe they even got the actual image file they use for Advent Children. But here in the remake, if you see here, especially the upper part here is quite different. It's not ex... well... It is kind of the same, because it goes up and then has a little thing here on the left, like here. It has those three-way thing it, that it has here as well. It's just a little bit different, it's like painted anew. And also the straggler on the right is also much bigger here. And it's much smaller here. Now, next one this one here, you can also see here on the right, but it's also not exactly the same. They have the same things, the same um, arms, so to speak, just a different... Also the rest of the thing, the curly tribal thingy here, they are all there, just a little bit different. It's kind of... It's, it, this is exactly the... Um, the mantra, so to speak, or the uh, the motto of the remake. K 
keep everything intact, in principle or at the core, and then expand, make new, paint anew, just reinterpret, but keep the core intact, which is what happens happens here. It's fine. But here, this uh, skull thing or whatever it is, or maybe even the back of a, of a bug, or something like that, is pretty much the same. This here, he, they didn't change. But the rest, it did change a little bit, and that I find it pretty cool. Also, um, the ripped off shirt here, the seam, this here looks pretty amateurish, I must, I must say, it's not too cool. It's much better here, not perfect, but it's much better here. Um, maybe here. Now they improved it again, yet again. This is from the TGS trailer. And this here is from the E3 trailer. You see? The, the, the part where is, uh, the sleeves got ripped off is a little bit less. The quality is a little bit less than here in the TGS trailer. Here, it looks quite close to, to, to the, the full render, if you remember here. It's much closer to this one here. I think it's pretty cool. It's really nice, really well made. Oh yeah, <laughs> his arm is huge, that's true. It's just the biceps, look at it. <laughs> well, it was also pretty huge here and... Um, uh, let's quickly get rid of this one. It was already quite huge here in the PSX trailer, but this kind of looks like b balloons underneath. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Um, it also looks much better in uh, the fight versus the guard scorpion, or I mean the uh, the cutscene afterwards. Like this, his part here, the, the triceps and the delta thingy. Here's the earring. And here's the other earring. Wait, I need to put this up there. Up, oh, now it works. So you can see the earring here. First, the shading is quite crap, and it just disappears in the earlobe. There's no real, um, how do you say it? No texturing of of the, the hole in the earlobe. Nothing. But here it is. Here he it, he really looks pierced. Do you see it here? It's quite small, you can't see it that much, but you can see it. The shades are pretty much the same, at least this part here. This part here is practically the same, the shades itself too. But I think they kind of have a, a different curve here. Here, this curve over here, if you see it on the, the mouse, it doesn't have it here, or at least it doesn't quite look like it, so... They might have changed it a little bit, just a little bit. Also, I think his, uh, his hair here is less trimmed down on the sides than it is here. Here in the PSX 2015 trailer, it's practically shaved off. So you only see like a darker area. But here, you actually do see kind of a, a moss, mossy, mossy surface. Also, yeah, just just, just look here. The, this is the E3 trailer, or the uh, the Symf is, uh, Symphonic Reunion trailer. One of the both. Lighting is very great, very good in this game. Very good. Here you see some reflections. You see it through the glasses. You see the reflection of the um, the flames and a little bit of his natural moisture on the skin. Probably from the heat. It's pretty cool. All right, so I think we're practically practically done with Barrett. I don't think there's anything more we can say without re repeating ourselves. Also, just look at this here. His glove and gauntlet, pretty layered, and I think this is. Practically this, uh, as sturdy as those used for uh, for eagles when they train eagles and let them land on their, their uh, arms. 
or when they training with uh, with police dogs and stuff, and the dog has to bite into the arms. Anyway, Marlene, next one. She's pretty cute, ain't she? And when comparing her to the original artwork and model, in-game model, she has the, the huge yellow ribbon. She has still pink-ish dress. It's funny that in the artwork it's kind of a one piece which has a button. And in the um, 3D model she has this uh, midriff divider and a skirt. Which she has, which we also see later. Like here. See it here? This um, mid piece or mid divider. Which goes into the um, a very very nicely done uh, skirt. Or dress or however you call this thing like the, the the wrinkles and stuff it's very very blah. it's getting late I can't talk anymore it's very well made also here we can also see her I think we should maybe sh shove it a little bit to this side here maybe like this I also included the uh, advent children uh, version just for comparison because that's the only version we have of her, which is high definition. And she looks pretty pretty similar, actually. If you look here, just uh, two years older. Very nicely done, Square. The eyes uh, fit, the eyebrows fit. And the hair is also uh, chin long, a little bit longer than chin. And her chin, like seen here in the original artwork to the right and here the 3d model so it's very accurate I must say pretty much accurate also this uh, brown eyes still brown eyes looks cute and this one is a little bit closer with nice teeth and the, are they called frills Fr frills th thingies I guess on the color here so yeah, I really like her dress. It's it's really well made with uh, all those wrinkles and the the ribbons and everything. It's pretty cool. Maybe the face could use a little bit of work here from this angle and the hair. Hang on. Yeah, it's, it's the same problem with Tifa. This is still at early stages here. The hair texture and hair modeling. So she needs work here too. This one with her modeling. So she needs work here too. This one with... We also see the socks, the white socks here that she has and the brown shoes. She also has those small laces here, lace thingy. Um, but, well, don't see it here neither in the artwork nor in the 3D of course. I think that's just flavor. Mm -hmm. 